it sends a query what is the query like it is like the select asterisk from from uh, users where uid equal to there is a single quote here single quote here and pwd equal to single quote here and single quote here right this is the likely query that runs here right so what i'm going to do is when i type in the username test and password test here what happens is here that particular data called test whatever i enter here is actually coming here and like that whatever i enter there is coming here right so username test password test now i click this it logs in right now i want you to understand if i put test 1 as a username and password test that user account does not exist so what happens it queries the database and returns back with a negative or a false uh, response right now we know that there there is a username called test exist right and i'm assuming there is also a username called admin that exists right now what i'm going to do is please pay attention i'm going to say test as a username right in the place of the password what i'm going to enter is i am just going to say single quote or single quote one single quote equal to single quote one what does that mean right let me retype how it will look here right in this place i am entering in a uh, data for the payload that i enter will come here right but before that let us recheck this select asterisk from username where user id equal to single quote whatever i type single quote and password equal to single quote whatever you type single quote right this open single quote is getting closed by this single quote right that's the most important part here now what i have entered here is a payload which is like this single quote or single quote one single quote equal single quote one right i'm just copying this data and i'm going to paste it here right so first let me use the whole query here right i am just going to take this password field paste it here this is the field right so now please pay attention what happens here this open quote has to be closed by this single quote right typically that's how it is written but now what i have done is this is the payload that i have typed in right so what happens is this open quote is already closed by this single quote right and i also say or single quote one single quote equal to single quote one single quote so it is equal data right instead of one i can say a equal to a f i equal to f i whatever it is right but the thing here is i am saying password is something or one equal to one what is one equal to one as you are already aware of uh, or gate and and gate in an and gate this side of the statement and this side of the statement has to be two to make the entire equation true isn't it likewise in an or statement this side or this side any one side is true the whole equation becomes true so here what i am saying is in or statement this side of the equation is true now already one equal to one is true so we don't care what is written on the left side of the Uh, statement so it makes the whole statement true whereby you get a response as a true response from the database which this web application believes that it is logged in and authenticates you inside right let us try using this i copied this i pasted this and i'm clicking login boom you have already got yourself logged in into the application how cool is that right you did not have the requirement of typing in the original password you just used a so called magical code which is otherwise called the authentication bypass payload this payload helped you to bypass the db uh, authentication mechanism and execute a query to log in but let me tell you does this work only for php and uh, when i say php look at the url 
yeah it says dot php right so does it work only for php and mysql no it's not like that so there are different payloads for different databases for ms sql you have different mysql you have different quatra or you have different sybase you have different db2 you have different so likewise you have for no sql uh, maria db cassandra db no you know you talk about any db it has its own flavor of injection payloads with which there are high possibilities that the attacker can log in without the use uh, the actual username and the password right so this attack is popularly called the sql injection authentication bypass attack so in case you are a developer who use uh, you know uh, login pages you develop login pages on a regular basis who also write queries uh, where a authenticated query is passed right in that case you know what exactly to do now right you can make sure uh, you can start using prepared statement right you can also start using stored procedures in case you are using ms sql server uh, parameterized queries or you can use sql i instead of sql o right these are all techniques that will enable you to better handle a uh, injection payloads like this and help you create a better and a secure application right in case this information was useful in case you think someone else would love to see a content like this consider sharing and subscribing thank you Thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity